Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Gitroy tips and in this video I would like to talk about how to fix WWE 2K25 is having an issue with slow motion issue which is happening for many of these right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround. So the first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here and we need to turn off VSync. So to turn off the VSync, we need to turn on the game, which means we have to open the game. So let me launch the game and I'll be showing you what you have to do. So once you get into the game, what you need to do is just need to go over here, you can navigate to here, just go over here, you will be able to find this one over here, you will be able to find the extras, tap on this one and go to the graphic settings over here and right now you can see at the top over here you can see the VSync is actually turned it on. So if it is turned it on, we have to turn this off. Now we need to go for accept it and you have to proceed further but right now if it is actually turn it on like i said you have to turn off but if it is turn it on by default in some cases you have to turn this on but what i'm recommending is if the vsync is turned on your computer you need to turn this off you have to turn this off then you just need to go back i mean you have to make the changes and once afterwards you have to try with the launch of the game so let me close this and we'll i'll be showing you what the next step so the next step is all about we need to change the windows display refresh rate to 60 hertz so to do this just go over here search for the settings you can search for the settings now from here in the settings what we need to do is just go to system go to display and from here what we need to do is go to the uh, go to advanced display and right now make sure the refresh rate is 60 hertz that's very important so once you cross check this, you can move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to try native resolution. That's what you have to try. For the native resolution, what we need to do is just go over here in the settings, go to system. Now from here, go to the, uh, over here you can see that the display resolution is actually set into 1600, 900. So you can keep the 1600, 900. There is no issue with that. But there is one thing that you need to make sure one thing. If you keep this display resolution 1600 900 this should be the same on a system as well as in the game so both should be same if the game is differ as well as this is different you will be having the trouble so make sure the display resolution is 1600 900 and also in the same game setting you have to set this to 1600 900 moving to the next step is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here search for the graphics settings and you have to click on this one Right now we need to add the game. So maybe I have already added the game. So I'll remove it and I'll show you how to add it. Just click on the browse. Now from here navigate to this PC and you have to navigate to local disk G. Now go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Scroll down and navigate to the folder. 
I think I have installed it on F, Gudu Local Disk F, Steam Library, Steam Apps Common. Scroll down and navigate to WWE 2K25. Now we need to select this one and go for Add. Once it is added, just go to the option. Make sure let Windows side should be there by default. You should be changing this to high performance with NVIDIA GeForce GTS 1650 Super. Now we need to save this. Once it is saved, close this and we have to go over here for the next step. So next step is all about we need to go to over here. We need to update the graphics card on both for the AMD as well as over here. So what we need to do is I'll be providing this description in uh, I'll be copy. Now go over here in the for the NVIDIA official NVIDIA website. Now from here you have to select the details for example the product type should be selected so right here this product is geoforce you have to select the product series you have to select this one and you have to go to the windows 11 so on windows 11 and if you're on the english just go over here and go for start search and also if on the driver just make sure that everything should be done over here in the driver so based on 15,000 series and 5,000 series and go for submit and if you're on the Windows 11, you can download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, download this one. That's what you have to do. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to turn off timer game update in the game setting file. So just go over here. Now from here, go to this PC, go to localist G, Steam library, Steam apps common. Now go to WWE 2K25. So we need to find it. So I think it is F. The folder is F, Steam library, Steam apps common scroll down to this folder now from here what we need to do is you can see you'll be having this particular folder over here so uh, i think there is this particular folder if we go to ww2k25 you'll be having the folder for the crash pad folder should be here i think somehow i deleted it so what i'll do is i'll do one thing so let me yes the co i have already copied this for some reason so i'll paste it over back so let me paste it so the crash pad is already pasted back and so we need to turn off the timer game update in the INE file right so I think we need to go over here in the documents go to WWE2K25 yes we need to go to this particular fold this particular one and right now, if you scroll down and if you check, you will be able to see this. That is over here, you will be able to find the timer game update. If it is off, we need to change this to on. That is what it is written, right? We need to turn off. So if it is on, so timer game update is right now, it is on. So we need to change this to off. And once timer game update is off, we need to save this and we need to close this and we need to move to the next step. Next step is we need to rename the config file. So to do this, just follow the same instruction file explorer. Go to the documents. Now get into WW2K25. So right now I have already created or I have changed it. So right now this is the file, config file. So right click on this, go to rename and we need to change it, which means we need to change config. For example, one, two, you can say whatever it is. So I'll save it. So config should be changed or renamed and save it. And once afterwards, we have to check back. Next one, we need to verify the game file and we need to update the windows. For updating the windows, go over here in the settings. Now we have to go to the windows update and just update the windows. Right now, the windows 11 with version 2 or H2 is available for me. So I have to download and install it. So just make sure the windows is up to date for any of these kind of games. The last and the least step, we need to verify the game file. So go to the file explorer, right click over here, go to the properties, install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this part. So once the verification is done, which will be cross checking whether any kind of files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. Once afterwards, we can try launch the game. So these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.